What's up guys, Tech Review Guru back. Uh, sorry I took so long to get back to you guys with a new video. I had a few things that were causing some delays, but nonetheless I'm back. Uh, I had quite a few people asking me about how to make their own uh, custom Kodi layout similar to what I have. I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to do so. It's very easy uh, and it's very user friendly to those that are familiar with using Kodi. You know that you have to go through a lot of uh, extra clicking and um, unnecessary things just to get to a movie to play or a TV show or whatever it is that you're trying to access. So first things first, uh, those that are familiar with Kodi, obviously uh, this is the normal screen that you're used to seeing, especially if you're using a TV add-ons, which I'll provide the link in the below in the description. Uh, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to system. You're going to click on appearance and you're going to go to skin. Now, most of you guys are not going to have the Eon Knox. That's fine. You're just going to click on Get More. And it'll be right over here in this list. I already have it, so it's not showing up on my list. You're just going to download it. it. Takes very little amount of time to do so. And then it's going to ask you, Would you like to keep this change? You're going to say yes. Now, this is what it looks like normally with nothing on it. Um, I can click on all of these links. It's not going to take me to any add-ons. So I have to create a path to those. Now by doing so, it's extremely easy. Uh, and takes very little time. We are going to go to System, Appearance, and first off we're going to start with getting rid of the RSS newsfeed. That's that little ticker that's at the bottom that gives you information that most people don't really pay attention to. Uh, if you want to keep it on there, you know, go ahead and keep it. It's not a must have or, you know, must lose thing. It's your preference. I prefer not to have it. And then we're going to go to settings. And this is all customization to what you prefer. So if you want your menu layout to have five items, you can do so. If you don't, you want it three items like I do, just click on three items. Now we're going to go to set up the Eon Knox main menu. All right. So for pictures, I don't utilize pictures on Cody, so I'm going to just click on the little tab to uh, deselect it or disable it I guess we would say music I personally don't use music so again I'm gonna disable that movies most of us use movies if not all of us uh, I'm gonna go down I'm gonna leave it enabled I'm going to click on de default select action I will then go down to add-on video add-on and I'm going to use Zen today for my video add-on preference. Uh, it's a new video add-on that I have came across that I find to uh, have liked quite a bit. It's similar to Exodus, but it's uh, a little bit smoother, I guess you'd say, in my opinion. It's got a little bit better uh, links and providers and so on and so forth. So I'm going to click here on Zen. Now you're going to get the layout menu of your links to movies, TV shows, etc. For this specific category, it's movies. So I'm going to click on movies and create menu item here. Hit enter. Now I'm going down to manage submenu. All of these extra submenu items, I don't use any of them. I like to keep my stuff extremely simple. I don't want to have anything extra. Uh, an unnecessary bulk that is just wasted time in my opinion to utilize so I just delete everything from there I'll back out we'll go back over to TV shows we're going to default select action add-on video add-on I'm going to go back to Zen 
Now this time, instead of movies, I'm going to click on TV shows. And we're going to create menu item here. As so. Again, down to manage submenu. Delete. Back out. Live TV. Uh, for my own personal use. Uh, I don't use live TV. I will put it on here though just for um, the benefit of those who are viewing. So we're going to click on default select action again. Add-ons. Video add-ons. And we will use... Uh, we'll go to C Cloud. C Cloud's a pretty popular one. Hmm. There it is. Sorry, I passed it up. And we will click create menu item here as well. Now, see, as, as you guys can tell, it shows C Cloud here. Uh, I usually change the title because most people don't want to read C Cloud on there. So we're just going to label it Live TV. Click Done. And so far we have movies, TV shows, and Live TV. Uh, we'll throw in an extra add on in here just to uh, have as a backup in case maybe Zen goes down so we will go down to default select action add-on video add-on again exodus now this time I'm not gonna pick a specific category I just want direct access to exodus so I will make the create menu item here on the main menu of the program. It's going to replace the label for me automatically and put excess there. If you want to change it to something else for your own use, obviously you can do so. I don't have any use to change it. Uh, I'm going to go down here to men manage sub, uh, sub menu. It's already cleared up. And we'll throw in one more extra. So let's see here, we'll go to default select action again, add-ons, this time I'm going to use a program. Uh, this new program that I came across called Easy Maintenance, it's pretty cool, uh, works really well on the fire sticks. We're going to click on it, just basically gets rid of any uh, packages, uh, thumbnails, any s files that are unnecessary, cache that's uh, taking up extra space on your um, fire stick or any device that you're using at the time. I'm going to leave the title the same as it already is. Double check the sub menu. I don't think there's anything there, but double check. All right, there's nothing there. And we're going to go down here to videos. We're going to disable it because we don't want any extras that we're not using. Apps, we'll disable it. System we will leave on here. Power I leave on. Favorites I leave on if I want to add any extra add-ons and just have them as a uh, easy access uh, category. I'm going to rechange the name though to favorites. And we're going to turn the weather off. Concerts are going to be off. And that should do it. We're going to back out. So hit the back button. Back button again. And back button. Two more times. Now, I didn't change where the bar is. And I wanted to show you guys this. As you can see, the news feed at the bottom here is gone. So now with that being gone if you guys prefer to have this bar up here in the center that's fine. 
I personally like it at the bottom. So we're going to go to system. We're going to click on appearance. And we will go here to settings. And we're going to go to the main menu horizontal position. We're going to put that at low. I think it looks a little bit cleaner having it at the bottom. That's just my own personal preference though. Again, uh, now as you can see here in system we have a couple little extra tabs. I'm probably going to remove all these because I just don't, I don't like the extra added bulk. So we'll go back in here to system, appearance, settings. Go down to the manage submenu because that's where all that added bulk is from all the other add-ons that I had showed you. Delete everything. Backspace. Back out again. And when I go over system, everything should be gone. It is. Okay. So let's just make, it, make sure everything works. I'm going to click on movies. Now this is the one that we did with Zen. Okay, now we have every category. Add a one click. Uh, we're gonna go to, let's see here, we'll go to trending. Make sure everything is running smooth. I'll go to the first one that we see here, Magnificent Seven. Give it a moment here to load up. And we will click on the first link. There you go. We got a movie playing. So that means everything is running smooth. We're going to back out of here real quick. We'll double check TV shows. And you're just going to make the same routine with everything. Just make sure it all runs good. Uh, we'll just go to populars. Okay, so they're all everything's working on both both these tabs, uh, and I'm positive that the rest will work. We'll go to them though just to verify. Okay, we got C Cloud up and running. Exodus. Now remember, I didn't use a direct tab to the movies or TV shows. I just wanted to have this as a backup to Zen. So you got movies, TV shows, my movies, new movies, you know, the whole nine. Easy maintenance. If I need to clear my cache, delete thumbnails, or purge any packages, it's all one click access. Super convenient to have. You guys can put this on your Fire Six. You can put this on any device that you have Cody on. Great program to have. And that'll be it, guys.